One. You're looking at the future of space travel. Built by a private company, SpaceX, Starship is designed to transport people deeper into space than ever before, and possibly take 100 people at a time to Mars. The first high-altitude test flight of the Starship prototype was carried out in December, stunning onlookers with a landing flip maneuver that, until that point, had never been done. The reusable spacecraft stabilizes itself in a controlled fall before landing, which didn't go so well the first time. Test vehicles are built to fail, so that later versions don't. Data from test flights are used to make improvements to the production line in Texas along the U.S.-Mexican border. The company's founder, Elon Musk, says they'll go through around 20 prototypes before it's operational. Starship will eventually tower 120 meters in the sky atop what's called a super-heavy rocket, more powerful than the Saturn V used for the Apollo missions to the moon, and it'll launch from the sea. SpaceX recently purchased two decommissioned oil rigs for $3.5 million each and is converting them into floating spaceports. Musk says 1,000 starships will be needed to build a city on Mars, and he's committing billions from his personal wealth to finance it. Do you want the future where we become a space spring civilization and are in many worlds and are out there among the stars, or one where we are forever confined to Earth? And I say it is the first, and, and, and I hope you agree with me. Fully reusable transportation systems have significantly reduced costs for each launch, for humans and cargo. Multiple ships then start building out the city, then making the city bigger, even bigger. Even after defying expectations, Musk's critics doubt his billions will be enough to finance his dreams, a vision that will likely cost trillions of dollars to realize and will depend on future technology not yet invented. But for now, the next Starship is fully assembled and nearly ready for launch. Andrew Chappelle, Al Jazeera.